Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. As usual, I'm gonna let the clip play and then I'll talk about it afterwards. The head coach for Chicago is Phil Jackson. And the assistant coach is Tex Winter. With the help of Tex Winter, Jackson implemented an offensive strategy that would become central to his coaching legacy. Triangle was not anything new at all. My college coach, Bill Fitch, instituted this offense my senior year of college. So I actually played in it. That's probably one of the reasons why I felt comfortable. There was no name attached to it, but all the guys in the West Coast ran a triangle. Pete Newell ran a triangle with California. Bill Sharman won championships. Will Chamberlain said the record was assists out of a triangle offense. Tex himself had even taken a small group of farm kids out there in Kansas State and made them a very effective basketball team. Tex had really thought it out. And, um, you know, I felt like this could really work for us. With the triangle offense, the idea of how to operate it is this. How are you guys ready? We'll do it. Overload one side and have an opportunity on the weak side where the defense don't have enough help. These are, you know, very basic parts of basketball. It's about how to create angles so players mentally saw what the correct angle is to set up a pass, what the correct angle is to set up a reverse. We used to talk about that you had to be a geometrist so that you could move into the best opportunity for organizing an offense. Very basic parts of basketball. Principles of an offense have to understand that the sequences all follow one another. And that's how we used it. The problem was Michael didn't want to run the triangle. He just couldn't understand the value in this. And with the considerable skills he had, you could understand why he might be hesitant. The primary job of an NBA head coach is to get along with a superstar if he has one and to get the superstar to buy into his system. He was very smart. He was able to manage Michael Jordan who was a brutal teammate and super competitive and had a way of, of just ruining guys, and he managed that. He knew Michael had to have his freedom, and Michael knew that Phil had to have the triangle. But in fourth quarter, you never saw the triangle. Fourth quarter was Michael Jordan, and it worked perfectly. did have two great players, Dippin and Jordan. We had a leadership that was in many different forms. Bill Cartwright was a guy who wasn't physically as capable as he was as a young player, but he could get around to all the guys and talk to them. Scotty Pippen became a really good leader. He had 11 siblings. The team was like his family, part of this collective whole. All right, so now in regards to the triangle offense itself, um, I personally don't think it's all that complicated. It's just that it's an, an open style offense that's really predicated on ball movement and player movement. And it doesn't really have a number of set steps, but it just it puts players in a position to read and react essentially. So I think with the right players who, under, who have a high enough IQ in regards to the game and positioning and, and the right angles, I think it, it can it can be run just fine. So I think I think the um, you know it's, it's gotten an unfair knock on, on the on the triangle offense recently or uh, in recent years. Obviously because I think they were running it in New York with Carmelo Anthony and <laughs> and of course it wasn't going to work. That 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 team wasn't going to you know work regardless. It certainly wasn't the best offense for them to run. Um, and in regards to to Michael. Um, and his reaction to it, I don't think it was necessarily that he had a problem with the offense itself. Because, he, he, I mean, he came from North Carolina, so he knew how to play within a system that wasn't going to allow him to um, maximize his individual talents, you know, per se. I think he just didn't trust his teammates enough at that time to where they would be able to hold up their end if he wasn't going to be able to go all out all the time 
uh, in the offense kind of because the offense kind of relied on them doing their part. Um, so I think that was his initial hesitance to it was that you know are these other guys going to be able to hold up their end in this open offense? Um, and then I want to address something that Bill Simmons said. He said Michael had a way of ruining guys, and that's true. But he also had a way of building guys up. So, I mean, we've been, you know, this is pretty well known. Mike was a tough guy, but not for nothing. It was, you know, to see who was worth it, who could he trust. You know, players like Scottie Pippen, players like Steve Kerr, they showed that, you know, he, he could trust them. And, and when the time came, they were able to flourish on the court. You know, other players like um, Brad Sellers or Dennis Hopkins or whoever, they, they couldn't hang, so they had to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's pretty simple. But uh, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. What, I mean, what's your opinion or your thoughts on the triangle offense? You know, is it something that could still work in today's league if you have the right players? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching the video. Peace. He no longer needs accomplishments to prove his case as the greatest player in NBA history. He just adds to it. And if this is the final chapter, what a way to close the book.